you bought an L mount camera, and since full frame lenses are expensive, you are thinking about which lens to buy so as not to make a mistake. Before that, I had been shooting wireless projects for about 3 years on a camera with a micro sensor, and the top one lens for me was a Panasonic 12 35mm f2.8 that on a full frame is equivalent to 24 70mm. I shot about 90% of all videos with it, since this focal length is the most versatile for all cameras and is suitable for most tasks. You can use it to shoot both wide shots and close ups, and aperture f2.8 makes the lens fast enough. So, meet the best available analog for L mount Sigma 2470mm f2.8. I won't talk about it in detail, because a lot of people have already done it before me. I will tell you only what you need to know. First, the lens assembly is of high quality. Second, there is no stabilization in the lens. Third, autofocus works, but worse than with native lenses from Panasonic. And finally, it's big and heavy. Compared to an equivalent microsensor lens, I would say that it's very large and weighs more than the camera itself. So, let's move on to the most interesting, because it's better to see once than to hear. I shot a test video, and here it is. And now, let's talk about analogs and prices. Sigma 2470 costs about 1100 bucks. If you are looking for a more budget-friendly option, the Sigma 2870 has a slightly smaller focal length range and weighs half as much. Another option is Panasonic 24-105 f4. Yes, it is not as fast as the previous two options, but it has a larger focal length range and, more importantly, stabilization in the lens, perfect for travel videos. And remember, you can always buy these lenses cheaper in the secondary market. Subscribe to the channel to see more useful and interesting content. And all the best!